So I was just in prayer with um, Dan and the Lord revealed something that I wanted to share with everybody. And we were um, just really praying prophetically and I really felt the Lord was, you know, prompting me to ask for forgiveness of the body of Christ that people have a tendency, it's almost like a habit now, of just resisting God. And that is just, you know, more offensive to God than all the other things that we consider as sin, you know. But to him, unbelief and resisting God is the most offensive thing. And how do you resist God? It's whenever the Holy Spirit is prompting you to do something but you refuse to do it maybe the holy spirit is moving in your heart during a time of worship and you refuse to sing or you refuse to lift your hands or you refuse to you know pray or in the message you know uh you refuse to respond to the message or you walk out of the message and say, I didn't agree with that. I don't believe he was hearing God. Or, you know, I don't believe that message is for me. Or I don't agree with that message. Or I don't understand that message. Or that can't be biblical. Like you just, it's its a form of, of resisting. Um, and, you know, what's really heartbreaking about that situation is that if you really believe that God is in the room, you wouldn't just walk out and feel like I got nothing out of that because it's like your attitude is uh, right there and God who is in the room can see your attitude and also can see, you know, the thoughts in your mind and, and all the ways that you have uh, resisted him or just not submit to the Holy Spirit. I believe that God is a very emotional God. And sometimes we respond to him also with our own emotions. And those might not even be your emotions. But what happens is if the Lord is in the room, he infuses you with his emotions. And sometimes, you know, we have to just practice surrender, like in a childlike way, practice surrendering to the Lord. And whenever we resist him, it like hurts his feelings. And I feel like, you know, sometimes that could be such a habit that we do it automatically. And this is a time in which, you know, we need to grow in sensitivity to the Lord. And how do we do that? We have to practice not resisting the Lord.